Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. Okay, you survived Thanksgiving 2020. Heck, you've survived the oddest year of recent times. Now what? Stop. Take a deep breath. Look down at your dog. See those loving eyes looking up at you. There's a reason to start working on that proverbial New Year's resolution that you put on your list every single year. You know the one that says something like lose weight, get more active, join a fitness club. Maybe you start out on January 2nd and get a good groove going, but then you tap out before Valentine's Day. Well, this show is going to help you get started before you've even made that resolution list. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is your host, Michelle Forto, and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works. On today's show, I'm going to help you win 2020 by getting started on that proverbial New Year's resolution that never quite becomes a lifelong habit. Are you ready to beat the hell out of 2020? Are you ready to take control of your world? Let's do this. Grab that canine buddy of yours and its leash, put on your favorite kicks, and get ready. Stretch it out before you go. Baby, it's cold outside. Be sure to stretch it out before you go out. Stretching is a great way to get you warmed up and ready to go for even a simple walk with your dog. Do a short three to five minute stretching routine on yourself and then do one with your dog. For your dog, work on some puppy push-ups. Sit, down, return to sit, but don't do these too quickly. Hold each command for at least 30 seconds before moving to the next. Then repeat three times. Next, place the dog on sit, say wait, place the leash on. Then stand up and turn around with the dog. Return to sit and take the leash off. This sounds ridiculous, right? Well, this exercise alone will teach your dog some patience when he sees the leash or you're trying to place it on. After you've done that three times, then leave it on and simply walk your dog around the house, up and down stairs, etc., for about five minutes. At thresholds, have the dog wait and do a stand stay or a sit stay, maybe even one or two down stays. Then head towards the door. Here's a bonus tip. If the weather is too frightful, this routine alone will get you both warmed up and stretched out and can be repeated several times a day. All right, out for a walk. Now, that we're all warmed up and stretched out, let's go outside. Now, here's something you may not be thinking about. You don't have to brave those icy sidewalks or streets or that dark trail. Simply work out in the driveway that you've cleared, doing some of the same things you were doing inside. If you do that for another five minutes before heading out for the walk, it will help your dog with patience and demonstrate to them that the walk is on your terms, not theirs. 
Again, if the weather is too frightful, you can simply go back inside from the driveway. If your canine buddy is too excited, go back inside and try later or the next day. The whole idea here is to develop patience so that you're both moving your bodies, getting those endorphins going. And here's the biggest takeaway, developing a routine that you'll both be able to enjoy and stick with. Head out on your walk, determine if you and your dog are ready to walk the block or just go a few houses. Don't punish yourself or your dog if it's only a few houses. You can walk back and forth there as long as you want. Why? Because developing this routine is demonstrating to your canine buddy that you are in control on this walk and it's not about them. Be on the lookout for loose reindeer. Oh, I mean moose. In all seriousness, in Alaska, it doesn't matter if you live in Anchorage, Fairbanks, Willow, or Kenai. Moose are afoot. They don't care about roads, trees, or your freaked out canine buddy. All they care about is eating and eating more and eating even more. If you encounter a moose on your walk, do not look it in the eye. Remain calm as you can and attempt to keep your dog calm and turn and walk the other direction while keeping an eye on the movement of the moose. Whenever I take dogs for walks here in Willow, even with all of the sled dog kennels in my neighborhood, I make noise. This helps let the moose know we're out here too and they should move along. So no excuses, not even if there's a moose. But wait, here's another bonus tip. Using a bear bell on your dog helps to let the moose know you're in the area too. I always go out with a headlamp and use some type of reflective collar or light on my dog's collar so we can be seen. As you develop your routine and venture out farther and farther and for longer periods of time, you and your dog will enjoy this time together more and more. Remember, the idea is to start working on getting in better shape now during the holidays so that there's less pressure to get started in the new year. We're going to kill it in 2021. Hey, you guys. Hold up, I'm not quite finished. For fun, here's some of the top 10 resolutions from my favorite canine buddies. They made a list for you. Bodie says he wants to shed a few pounds in 2021, so eat less cookies. Reagan says take more naps, be less grumpy. Stryker says, getting my seizures under control with diet, exercise, and medication, feeling like a new dog already. Dutch says, he's looking for a career change from sled dog extraordinaire to dogs assisting with grace therapy dog. Watson says, he loves going on car trips with Robert and hopes to get to do more in 2021. Ruby says, yo, put me in coach. I'm ready to lead, practicing more and more so I can earn that coveted position. Wait, Jacques says, give me a bark, Ruby. You've got a lot of miles to go to knock me out of the position. Jacques also says she's looking forward to 2021 and meeting more of Robert's students from the college. Falcor says, if I promise to bark less, will I get more treats? Frosty. Frosty says, don't let the name fool you. Wake me up when December ends. I look forward to spring runs. The trails are faster. And Jagger says, we should all take a moment and look around. Be thankful for what you have and always strive to be better. We're going to take a short break. And when I come back, we are going to talk about going behind the breed and learn all about the Australian Shepherd. So earlier, you learned about First Paw Coffee Company. Now I'm going to tell you about its Trail Breaker Blend. First Paw Coffee Company's Trail Breaker Blend is inspired by our love of the Northern Lights, Frosty Paws, and Sled Dog Trails. 
How cool is that? The Trail Breaker Blend is a private label premium blend that was developed just for them. It's a medium dark roast from Central and South America, highlighting flavors of brown sugar, hazelnut, and plum. Be sure to go to ak.dog slash free and enter to win a bunch of cool prizes. That's ak.dog slash free. Okay, guys, let's learn about the Australian Shepherd. Did you know the Australian Shepherd is descended from a line of Europe's finest herders? The Aussies World Tour began in Europe near the Pyrenees Mountains. It was here in the borderlands between France and Spain where the indigenous people known as the Basques built their centuries-old reputation as world-class shepherds. Their herding dog of choice was called the Pyrenean Shepherd, progenitor of our modern Aussie. In the early 1800s, Australia's Anglo-Americus began to push into the continent's vast interior in search of rich pasture land for cattle ranching. Eventually, many Basques, with their faithful shepherd dogs in tow, sailed east to try their luck on the virgin Australian continent, a wide open paradise for sheep herders. During their long sojourn in Australia, the Basque shepherds refined their dogs with judicious crosses to Australians' British imports, collies and border collies among them. After building up their flocks, the intrepid Basques left Australia for greener pastures, literally, and set sail to California. California ranchers admired the Basque's herding dogs and assumed they were an Australian breed, thus the misleading name Australian Shepherd. Aussies further refined and perfected in America have been an iconic part of cowboy culture ever since. Many are still happily herding in the American West. Others earn their feed as rodeo performers and still others of this exuberantly versatile breed work as therapy dogs, drug detectors, service dogs, and search and rescue dogs. The Australian Shepherd entered the AKC herding group in 1993. The Australian Shepherd is an intelligent working dog of strong herding and guarding instincts. He is a loyal companion and has the stamina to work all day. He is well balanced, slightly longer than tall, of medium size and bone, with coloring that offers variety and individuality. He is attentive and animated, lithe and agile, solid and muscular without cloddiness. He has a coat of moderate length and coarseness. He has a docked or natural bob tail. Here are some quick facts. They're smart, work-oriented, and exuberant. The AKC breed popularity ranks them 17th out of 195. They ha the height is 20 to 23 inches tall for males, 18 to 21 inches tall for females. Weight is 50 to 65 pounds in males, with the females weighing in around 40 to 55 pounds. They have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years, and they are classified in the herding group. Care and Training A high-energy athletic dog, the Aussie needs a great deal of exercise on a daily basis. At minimum, he should have a large fenced-in yard to run around in for at least an hour or two daily. Aussies bond closely with their owners and love to accompany them on long walks or better yet, hikes. Once an Aussie leaves puppyhood behind and his skeletal system is fully formed, he can make a great running companion. The best course, however, is to give the Aussie a job, whether that is herding livestock, shepherding children, or competing in canine events such as obedience, herding, or agility trials, or even dock diving. Early socialization and obedience training are both musts for the Australian Shepherd. One of the most frequent reasons Aussies end up in rescue situations is owners couldn't or wouldn't constructively channel the breed's boundless energy through training. Aussies bond strongly to their families and so can be territorial and overprotective of their owner's property, and they can become destructive if left without companionship for long periods too often. Fortunately, that loyalty combined with the breed's keen intelligence and high energy makes them very easy to train. 
Aussies are generally healthy dogs and a responsible breeder will test breeding stock for health concerns such as hip dysplasia, epilepsy, cataracts, and certain forms of cancer. And Aussies' ears should be checked regularly to remove foreign matter and avoid a buildup of wax and his teeth should be brushed regularly. Would you like to learn more about how to train your Australian Shepherd to be one of the best trained dogs? Head over to our website, alaskadogworks.com to learn more. And as always, check out our social channels. Just search Dogworks Radio. Please tell your friends and family about our show. It is the best thing you can do to help us out. See you next time. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.